Since last few days, a new variant of COVID-19 has become the topic of discussion for this nation. Yes, you guessed it right, Lambda variant. Few scientists are of opinion that this particular variant has potential to become a threat for the country, while others are of opinion that it is too early to predict anything. Which one is correct? Let's try and find out the answer in this video on your YouTube channel, My Expert Doctor, with your consultant physician, Dr. Shalini Singh Salunke. So in this video, we are going to answer the following questions. Number one, what is lambda variant? Number two, why it has become the talk of town? Third one, is it really a matter of concern? Fourth, what are the symptoms in treatment associated with lambda variant? And number fifth, how can we prevent it? So let's take up the first question. What is lambda variant? It's a new variant or a new mutant strain of the original COVID-19 virus, which was also called SARS-CoV-2. The scientific name of this particular variant is C.37, belonging to the original lineage of B.1.1.1.1. As of now, WHO has categorized it or labeled it as a variant of interest. That is, it has potential to become a dangerous mutant or a variant, but as of now, it is under investigation. If you want to understand what is variant of interest, what is variant of concern, I have already discussed that in my previous video. In case you missed it, the link is given in the i button. Please go and check it today itself. Total number of mutations that has happened in this particular variant is seven. All of them or most of them is found in spike protein, specifically in receptor binding domain. As I have already mentioned in my previous videos, that receptor binding domain is the specific site from where this particular virus attaches and enters into the host cell. So it is very important and significant site. Now, there are two specific mutations which are of particular significance or importance. The one is L452Q and the second one is F490S because scientists are anticipating that these particular mutations or these two mutations will be responsible for its increased transmissibility or immune risk response. But that is still under investigation. Now, why it has become the talk of the town? Why is it so important for all of us now? So for, for understanding that, we need to understand the history of this particular strain. It was first identified in Peru, a South American country, in August 2020. From April 2021 till May end of 2021, it wreaked havoc on Peru, just like Delta variant wreaked havoc on our country. Many people were affected with that particular variant. Similarly, in Peru, maximum population got affected with this particular with COVID-19 at that particular time and 81% of the newly found cases were linked to lambda variant after genomic sequencing. Along with that, Peru recorded the highest mortality rate related to COVID-19 if you compared with the global standards. As of now, it has spread to almost 30 different countries including Chile, Ecuador, Argentina, UK, France, Italy, US, Canada, Australia, Israel and others. Is it really a matter of concern? Now, before going into the answers to this particular question, there is one important thing to note, and that is there is no scientific research based data available to answer this particular question. Whatever we understand or the hypothesis we make is only on the basis of the theory, as well as the understanding and observation that we have made as, as per the cases in Peru. So there are four important points. The first thing which make it a matter of concern is the mute number of mutations that have happened in spike protein. There are seven different mutations that has happened in this particular protein, specifically in the region of receptor binding domain, which probably would be responsible to provide it transmissibility and immune escape phenomena. The next thing is majority of the cases which were found in Peru were linked to this particular variant. Along with that, the highest mortality rate in relation to COVID infection compared to global standards were found in this particular country. So this is one of the reasons probably it would be a matter of concern for everyone. Apart from that, the way it is spread, uh, spreading to different countries is also posing a threat. Now, the good news is there is no case yet found in India. If you are liking information we are giving through our videos, please encourage us by hitting like button. Share it with more and more people so that they will get benefited out of it. If you have any question related to your health, feel free to put it on the comment box. We will answer it as soon as possible. And also, 
Do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our upcoming videos. Now, what are the symptoms and treatment of this particular variant? So, happily, the symptoms are still the same. High-grade fever, cold and cough, loss of taste, smell, shortness of breath, easy fatigability, generalized weakness, body ache, abdominal discomfort. All of this which we have seen in previous original strains of COVID-19 as well as in the Delta variants and other strains. So, there is no difference found on the symptoms of Lambda variant. So similarly, the treatment is also the same. How we used to treat COVID-19 originally, it's the same line of management. So symptom and the presentation and the treatment of this particular variant is same. Now, how can we prevent it? Two important things, COVID appropriate behavior and vaccination. COVID appropriate behavior is now also known as behavioral vaccine because following these practices will help us or protect us from getting infected by COVID-19 strains. What are these important uh, COVID appropriate behavior? Face mask, social distancing, hand sanitization with hygiene and there are other steps. I have already made a detailed video on these steps. The link is get given in the i button. If you have missed it, this is the right time. Go and watch it. Prepare yourself for the third battle. Along with that, vaccination, as we all know, is very important. Now, the most important concern which everyone is asking nowadays is whether these vaccines will be equally effective against these newly developing strains, that is Lambda strain. Yes, of course, all WHO approved vaccines are working efficiently against this particular strain or variant as far as the investigations are concerned. However, Chile officials have raised concern against Chinese vaccine Sinovac. The efficacy is a bit less against lambda variant as they are mentioning but there is no confirmed reports or who has not mentioned anything regarding this till date two case reports have been uh, published not published basically have been reported till date one is from new york the other is from chile and both are uh, awaited for peer review now they have confirmed the efficacy of vaccines as well as the convalescent plasma now what is convalescent plasma the antibodies which are derived from the person who has previously got infected with COVID strains, different COVID strains. So the convalescent plasma as well as these vaccines which are available as of now are working well against this particular strain that is Lambda variant of COVID-19. Now let's conclude the entire video on Lambda variant. It's a new variant of interest related to SARS-CoV-2 or the original COVID-19 virus. It has significant mutations in spike protein. Its transmissibility and lethality is still under investigation. No sure confirmed research-based data is available as of now. Symptoms and management are same as the parent virus. Vaccines are, vaccines are still working against it. It still has potential to become a various of concern, but as of now, it's just various of interest. We have to be watchful for that. You need to follow all precautionary steps which are there for COVID-19 virus and also get yourself vaccinated before the third wave. I hope you have got answers of all your questions related to Lambda variant through this video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to put it in the comment box or you can also contact me on WhatsApp through this number. We will meet again soon in, with another informational video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy at your place.